Welcome everyone. So today we are going to solve a very nice math test problem and literally a lot of people could not do it because there was no calculator given in this exam. So now before going ahead I would like to tell you something about my channel. Every day I upload 4 videos which can include tips, tricks, quizzes as well as math test problems. So if you are an enthusiast like me please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and in case you are watching me on Facebook then please hit the follow button to my page okay for many such videos on a daily basis so now over here see when you have no calculator given it's very easy to solve this if you could have literally taken these two things separately now when i take these two things separately what i can do over here is i can take six cube common and i'm left with what just six plus one now how did that happen see six raised to four is written as what 6 3 raised to 3 plus 1 and as we know a raised to m plus n can be written as a raised to m into a raised to n so this can be written as 6 cube into 6 so when i do 6 cube into 6 plus 6 cube i can very conveniently take 6 cube outside and i'm just left with 6 plus 1 so this is how i got the first step the second step over here what we can do for the second pair is take 6 out so again I'm just left with what 6 plus 1 now if you look overall what I can do is I can take 6 plus 1 outside so I'm like taking 6 into 6 plus 1 outside and then I'm in the bracket I'm just left with what 6 square plus 1 so what happens over here is you're getting this as what 6 into 7 into 37 this is 36, 6 square is 36 plus 1 gets you 37. So now when you do this, you multiply 7 and 37, you got 6 into 259, which eventually gets you 1554. So we can say the answer for this one is 1554. How easily we could do this? Literally in one minute we could solve this if you could just remember breaking these up. That's it for today. I will see you in the next video.